Dear Cecilia, It's been a year to this day since you drowned. I can't believe how fast time goes sometimes. This is the spot where you drowned. It was cold. Too cold for you to swim back to shore after you realized you had made a mistake. I know you really didn't want to end yours or your child's life by this. That you were just scared. I should have listened. This is the calm before the storm. Everything has suddenly become irrelevant. Your premonitions came too soon for me. Too late for you. You once asked me if I could do things over again. If I would change. I'd like to think so. It's been a year to this day since you drowned. And here I am. This fire is for you. The last light I see before the dark. This is the way our world ends. This is the way our world ends. This is the way our world ends. Not with a bang, but with a whimper.
That moment she was mine, mine fair, perfectly pure and good. I found a thing to do, and all her hair in one long yellow string I wound three times her little throat around and strangled her. No pain felt she. I am quite sure she felt no pain. As a shut bud that holds a bee, I warily oped her lids. Again laughed the blue eyes without a stain. And I untightened next the tress about her neck. Her cheek once more blushed bright beneath my burning kiss. I propped her head up as before. Only this time my shoulder bore her head, which droops upon it still. The smiling, rosy little head, so glad it has its utmost will, that all it scorned at once is fled, and I, its love, am gained instead. Porphyria's love, she guessed not how her darling one wish would be heard, and thus we sit together now, and all night long we have not stirred, and yet God has not said a word. Poor Porphyria. You think so? She was strangled to death by her lover. No pain felt she, Browning wrote. I am quite sure she felt no pain. But how can you be sure of that? That's what the poem says. Hmm. Read another of his. Browning is an interesting writer, very ironic. He married a poet more famous than he was. I wonder if he ever got jealous. I wonder what she thought of Porphyria's lover. You think she's a better poet? I don't know. I haven't read her. Honestly, I forgot her name. I remember she had a stillborn because of him. He beat her. Probably jealousy. Are you serious? Yeah. Because that really doesn't sound true. You don't have to believe me, and I don't have to believe you. The human race will prevail, after all, thanks to you. Come on, Joel. You're right. My dignity's not worth your time. Well then, let's not quarrel lest our child ends up the same way as theirs. Why do I even care? Joel. What? Why should I? It's not even mine. Why would you say something like that? We've gone over this before. It's just as much yours as it is mine. It would be. Except we didn't do anything. Joel, they chose me. You won't get an ultrasound. I'm afraid of what they might find. Oh my God, Cecilia. You can't face the guilt, so you lie. I understand that. But to completely insult my intelligence and tell me that some rock from outer space made you pregnant? I mean... <laughs> I wish I didn't love you so much. So I wouldn't have to deal with all of this. Joel, I never touched another man. I never touched another man, Joel. Joel! Dear Joel, Since the last time we talked, I've been thinking about that day. These things we bury so deep down inside, why do they seem to surface so often? 
you start to wonder if they were buried that well in the first place. I know you think I'm crazy, but my premonitions are all I have. They've shown me things. Things you wouldn't understand. I think the day has finally come. The baby is close. I can sense them calling. I want you to come with me, but I know you won't. So this is my goodbye. Even so, somehow I don't really believe this is our last one. Somehow I don't. Goodbye, Joel. This is the way our world ends. This is the way our world ends. This is the way our world ends. Not with a bang. Voices when we whisper together are quiet and meaningless as wind in dry grass, or rats feet over broken glass in our dry cellar. Shape without form, shade without color, paralyzed force, gesture without motion. Those who have crossed with direct eyes to death's other kingdom remember us if at all not as lost violent souls but only as the hollow men the stuffed men the eyes are not here there are no eyes here in this valley of dying stars in this hollow valley this broken jaw of our lost kingdom in this last of meeting places, we grope together and avoid speech gathered on this beach of the humid river, sightless unless the eyes reappear, 
as the perpetual star multifoliate rose of death's twilight kingdom, the hope only of empty men.